Hello. In this video, we'll show you how to install the Contrail command, graphical user interface, for Contrail Networking Release 2005. We'll also show you how to use Contrail command to provision a server cluster that includes Contrail Insights and Contrail Insights flows. First, let's get familiar with the devices included in the installation. In a typical data center fabric, you'll deploy several spine and leaf devices, as shown on the screen. However, for this video, we'll represent each of the major fabric device types with a single device, one server leaf, one border leaf, and one lean spine. The reason for this approach is that we want to focus on the servers in the topology, the Contrail cluster server, the Contrail Insight server, the Contrail Insights flows server, and the Contrail command server. Contrail Command is a GUI that you use with the Contrail Enterprise multi-cloud solution. It provides a single point of management for the fabric underlay, the overlay networks, and the virtual endpoints. The Contrail cluster is a group of components managed by a Contrail controller. A Contrail cluster includes servers and VMs that are provisioned into Compute, Control, Orchestrator, Contrail Insights, Contrail Insights Flows, or Service Node roles, in our topology, all of the node roles are assigned to the Contrail cluster server, except the Contrail Insights and Contrail Insights flows roles. Node role assignments are unique within topologies and vary by environment. And just so you know, we're using OpenStack components for authentication and image management. This is typical in environments using Contrail for data center switching fabric management only. Contrail can run in environments using other orchestration platforms. Contrail Insights, formerly known as AppFormix, provides end-to-end -end visibility into your multi-cloud environment to improve the operations of your network. Contrail Insights Flows, formerly known as AppFormix Flows, provides the ability to view telemetry information for the devices in a data center fabric. You can view the collected Contrail Insights Flows telemetry information in Contrail Command. So, We've learned about the fabric devices and the servers. Now, let's focus on installing Contrail Command. Here are the hardware and software requirements for the four servers. Make sure you set up these four servers and connect them to your local network before continuing. A link to the server requirements in the tech library is available in the description below. Another helpful resource, also linked below, is the Server Requirements and Supported Platforms page. To find the correct versions of CentOS, Kernel, and Docker software for any Contrail networking release, see the Contrail Networking Supported Platforms list. Look for details about the OpenStack Queens deployment for Contrail Networking 2005 for our installation. Additionally, you'll need a container tag to identify your Contrail networking release within the Juniper Contrail Container Registry. You can retrieve this container tag for any Contrail networking release from the README Access PDF file. We'll be using the image with the container tag 2005.62 for this installation. Finally, you can view a step-by-step -step document of this installation procedure in the Juniper Networks Tech Library. A link to this document is provided in the description below. Contrail command is deployed as a pair of Docker containers. You install Contrail command by downloading and running the Contrail command deployer image from the repository, which runs in its own container and exits when the Contrail command installation is complete. To prepare your Contrail command server for the installation, SSH into the Contrail command server. Verify your Contrail command server hostname or add it to the hostname file. Add your cluster node IP addresses and host names to the host file. Generate the RSA key pair credentials. Now, let's copy these credentials to each cluster node. SSH into each server in the cluster to confirm reachability. Next, we'll install and start the Docker engine. This adds the Docker repository 
and installs and starts Docker Community Edition version 18.03.1. Now, you'll need to create the command server's YAML file. This YAML file contains information required by the Contrail command server for deployments. This file is placed in the root directory on the Contrail command server. Add the IP address of the Contrail command server. Save this IP address for later because you'll need it to access the Contrail command GUI. We're logging in as the root user. Enter your SSH root password. Enter your sudo password. This matches the root password in our environment. Enter your NTP server name or IP address. Enter the container tag that you retrieved for the README file. Enter your container registry password. Enter your Keystone password. Keep the Keystone username and password handy. These are the credentials that you'll need to log into the Contrail command and Contrail Insights GUIs. You can find the complete command server's YAML file in the links below. Log into the hub.juniper.net registry with the credentials sent to you by the Juniper Contrail registry team. Use the docker pull command to retrieve the docker image, which contains the installation package. In this case, the container tag is 2005.62. Issue a docker run command to activate the contrail command deployer and install contrail command. Use the docker logs command to track the progress of the contrail command installation. At this point, you should have a successful installation of contrail command. Congratulations. Now, let's use the Contrail command GUI to deploy the Contrail cluster, Contrail Insights, and Contrail Insights flow servers. First, use a web browser to log into the Contrail command GUI. Enter https colon slash slash the IP address of the Contrail command server and port 9091. Use the IP address, username, and password that you specified earlier in the command server's YAML file. Contrail command needs to know the access credentials to configure the servers in our topology. Let's add these credentials now. Navigate to the Credentials tab and click Add. All the servers in the topology are configured with identical usernames and passwords and are accessed using the example credentials entered here. You can add additional access credentials by repeating this step if your topology uses servers or VMs with different credentials. In step one, inventory, let's add the Contrail cluster server and Contrail Insights server and the Contrail Insights flows server. Navigate to servers, click add and select detailed. For this example, let's call the Contrail networking host name Contrail cluster. You'll notice that the management IP address of 10.1.1.2 is the fabric facing interface. So Contrail can manage the fabric devices. As such, we're using interface ENS224 for this purpose. Next, use the credentials you created earlier from the drop-down list. Then, click Add in Network Interfaces to configure each interface. ENS192 connects to your out-of-band management network. ENS224 is the fabric management interface. And ENS256 is a direct link to the server leaf. Click Create. Now, let's use similar steps to add a Contrail Insights server and configure its interfaces. The host name is Insights. Use the credentials from the drop-down list and add your network interfaces. Click Create. Repeat these steps to add the Contrail Insights flows server and configure its interfaces. Click Create. We're done adding servers and interfaces, so click Next. In step two, provisioning options, we'll create a cluster of VMs to run Contrail services. Keep Contrail Enterprise Multi-Cloud as the provisioning manager. Then enter the following required information. Give it a cluster name. Add the container registry information. You can keep the default path to the container registry for our installation. Add your container registry username, password, and the Contrail version found in the README file. Enter the IP address or name of your NTP server. 
The IP address for your default vRouter gateway provides the direct link from the Contrail cluster to the server link in your fabric. For encapsulation priority, use the drop-down list to select VXLAN, MPLS over UDP, and MPLS over GRE. Click the Fabric Management checkbox, then click the arrow to open Contrail configuration. Click Add and enter key value pairs for control nodes, physical interface, and TSN nodes. Notice these all belong to the Contrail cluster. When you're done, click Next. Steps three through six are skipped for this installation, so we'll jump to step seven and assign control nodes. Click the Contrail cluster arrow under Available Servers to move it to Assigned Control Nodes. Notice the roles have been automatically provided for you. Click Next. Now, we'll assign the orchestrator nodes. Check the Show Advanced box to customize your deployment. Click Add under Cola Globals and enter standard key value pairs for OpenStack components. Here, you'll disable HA Proxy and Ironic, enable Swift, and set a disk partition size of 20 gigabytes. Click the Contrail cluster arrow to move it from available servers to assigned OpenStack nodes and click Next. Let's assign the compute nodes. Once again, click the Contrail cluster arrow to move it from available servers to assigned compute nodes. Enter the server leaf default vRouter gateway that we've used before, 10.1.11.2, and click Next. Now, we'll assign the Contrail service node. Click the Contrail cluster arrow to move it from available servers to assigned service nodes. Enter the default vRouter gateway address. Click Next. In step 11, we'll assign Contrail Insights nodes. Click the arrow of the Contrail Insights server to move it to the assigned AppFormix nodes. The AppFormix platform node role is assigned by default and should not be changed. Similarly, click the arrow of the Contrail Insights Flow server to move it to the assigned AppFormix nodes. Click the Roles drop-down list to change the role to AppFormix Bare Host Node. Click Next. In Step 12, we'll assign the Contrail Insights Flows node. Click the arrow of the Contrail Insights Flows server to move it to the assigned AppFormix Flows nodes. In our topology, we'll maintain the default out-of-band management selection and assign an available out-of-band management IP address, which is pulled from the Fabric Management IP address pool. Click Next. So, finally, we've arrived at the summary screen where you can verify your entries before starting the deployment. The cluster entries appear at the top of the screen, and right below, you can click on the various tabs to view node entries. If everything looks good, Click Provision. The provisioning process can take roughly an hour and a half, so be patient. While waiting, you can monitor the progress by running the docker exec CLI command on the Contrail command server. You can also monitor the Ansible log file for more detailed provisioning process information. If you encounter an error during the provisioning process, try clicking the Reprovision button. Once the provisioning process completes, click Proceed to Login. The updated login screen now contains a drop-down list that includes the Contrail cluster we just created. Select the cluster and log in. Here on the Contrail command dashboard, we see that our cluster installation is up and running. Additionally, we can confirm the other part of our installation. To log into the Contrail Insights dashboard, mouse over the AppFormix logo. View the IP address for the Contrail Insights dashboard. If you are not accessing Contrail command through the Fabric network, you might have to configure an external IP address to access the Contrail Insights GUI. To configure this address, navigate to the Endpoints page and change the public URL field for the Insights prefix. Now click the Contrail Insights logo. Use the credentials defined earlier in the command server's YAML file to log in to Contrail Insights. At this point, Contrail Command, Contrail Networking, Contrail Insights, and Contrail Insights flows are installed. Thanks for watching this video. 
For further details, check out the links below and the Contrail Networking portion of the Juniper Networks Tech Library.